Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reflashing the BIOS of this Lenovo IdeaPad 320 because when I click the power button, all that happens is that the hard disk drive spins up, the fan spins after 5 minutes and nothing else, it's basically dead. So what you want to do is go to the links in the description, download the programmer for your uh, flash tool. I recommend AS Programmer which is the first one on this list. And then go to the next website and download the drivers necessary. You might not need them, but it's better to get them. It's a ch341 sur.exe and the par.exe. So just go on this Chinese website and download both of them. Then you're going to put everything into a folder, including the BIOS that you want to flash onto the chip. You can find an original BIOS for your computer by going onto this Telegram group on your phone you can't do it on computer and search for it and hopefully you find one if not you're gonna have to extract it from your bios updater that you can find on your manufacturer's website so you can see the model number on the bottom of the laptop you're gonna want to have the exact bios version for your laptop since every laptop model has a different bios so what you're gonna do is remove all the screws from the back remove the disk drive from the side and then on the side where there was a disk drive you're going to take a small pry tool you can use a credit card that's expired or something and just pry it between the top layer and bottom layer of plastic just wedge that in until you hear a little click and then just go around the whole laptop and it should come off pretty easily so right here on the front and on the left side just like that then you're gonna flip over the laptop and you're gonna lift off the back to reveal the interior the next step is to remove the four screws securing your battery make sure not to mix the back plate screws and battery screws since they're not the same length then you're gonna pick up the battery and hold the cable with two fingers and just wiggle it side to side to remove it since it is quite stuck in there Next, you're gonna remove the CMOS battery connector. And right here, next to the RAM, we see this is our BIOS chip. So let's unbox our programmer. Here we have the, the clip and I already attached it to this adapter that makes it into like eight pins. What you wanna do is align the red wire with pin number one, which is written on the small board. And then of course, the other side has eight, seven, six, five. And then here's our actual programmer. Mine is the CH341 Pro. It says B on the actual chip, not A, but I don't think there's much of a difference. So this is what it looks like. You can buy it on AliExpress or Amazon for quite cheap. AliExpress is cheaper though. Then you're gonna take your clip and you wanna align the red cable with pin number one of the 25 SPI BIOS area. So that's gonna be on the top right. So just like this, you want it to be pin one at the middle to the left on the top. Here's our BIOS chip. So you wanna read the code that's written on it. And to do that, you can take a video with your phone using flashlight and you can read it quite easily. Now for the clip, you wanna align the red pin which is pin number one with the small dot that's on the actual BIOS chip. And there's a small white line on the motherboard to show you where pin one is supposed to be. So on the chip, there's like a small dot where it shows you that's actually pin number one. Then you're gonna take your programmer and plug it into your computer quite gently. You don't wanna like destroy the thing. And a red LED should light up. Now, you're gonna open both uh, the driver files. You're gonna run them and install them. You can do this before plugging in the programmer, it doesn't really matter, but this is just the order that I took. You're gonna do it for both of them. There we go, it's completed. And then, you're gonna open your actual programmer and right here, the exe file. And then on the top left, you want to click detect. And then a pop-up window should show up and it should show 
your chip name but you can see it doesn't have the same name as what we saw on the chip so we're going to open up AS Programmer and it's basically the same steps click on the icon with a question mark and here you can actually see our chip name which is actually corresponding to what's written on the chip if it doesn't show up you might need to reseat your clip since it might not have proper contact then top left you want to click read IC the green button and then wait for it to load it will take a while then you want to save that file and name it backup one and save it as a bin file or whatever it doesn't really matter once that's done you want to read the IC again so click the same button and then save it once more as backup2.bin then you're going to open your command line and cd to your directory where you have the files then you're going to, you're going to write cert util space dash hash file then the name of the file so for me it's backup1.bin and then md5 and you're going to click enter and it's going to generate a code now you do the same command once again but for your other backup file which is backup2.bin and you want to make sure both codes are the same if they're not the same you're going to remove your clip and put it back on to ensure correct contact and then do the same process once again read it twice and compare both files now go back to your programmer you're going to open a file select the bios flash file that you want to flash onto the chip i'm going to flash back a backup one since my laptop actually works and you're gonna go on the red one and unprotect whatever and flash the chip click yes for continue and this is gonna take a while this is 16 times speed so just wait and make sure not to interrupt it once you're done flashing you want to read it once more and then save that read as afterflash.bin so you click the save file rename it after flash or whatever you want it and you're going to compare this file with the file that you flashed to ensure that it worked correctly so you're going to do the same command search util dash hash file after flash dot bin md5 and then do the same command but for the file that you flashed which for me is backup one for you it should be like idea path 320 bios whatever and you're gonna compare both the codes and make sure they're the same if they are you succeeded with the flash if they aren't try again by reseating the clip and repeating everything once again you can close up everything disconnect your programmer put it down gently remove your test clip gently so to not rip out everything then you're gonna lift up the lever and disconnect the cable just like this put away everything you don't need and then back to the laptop you're gonna reconnect the CMOS battery make sure it's the same direction then we're gonna turn everything around just like that you're gonna take your battery right here and then align it with the screw holes and plug in the cable before screwing everything in make sure it's well snug into the hole then you're gonna align the screws and screw it back in all four screws then you're going to take the back plate and put it back on just like that and press on all sides to make sure the clips click in then you're just going to put it back in your uh, cd drive disk drive onto the side and screw in all the screws on the back and your laptop is back together here's the moment of truth plug in your cable charger and then without clicking anything it should turn on and make a beep do not be scared that's just the bios like refreshing itself and setting up the settings 
and then it's going to take a while to boot up completely but that's just because i have a hard drive and yeah just wait it should turn on and we're back into windows we can log in we can do whatever you want you could download the original bios from your manufacturer and install it through windows but i tried that and do not recommend it for this specific laptop since it actually decreases performance so i'm staying on version 25 and you can see here i'm actually trying to update the bios through windows and it got stuck so i had to redo everything so yeah do not update your bios using windows because it's trash